friends in one of the videos for controller we discussed about sat tap so the sat tap can you know sat a process variable with respect to other variable when the relation is bit easy however you know when we have some you know complex equation or maybe an equation which requires we to, uh, you know us to process some more mathematical operators it will be easier if we can use spreadsheet along with the you know chemcat chemcat gives you a very simple option of you know dealing or exchanging the information with excel using the data map or excel sheet command so let's say we have a natural gas stream containing c1 to c4 and some non hydrocarbon though the non hydrocarbon is not mentioned here uh, we consider that it is only c1 to c4 so we got c1 50% c2 30% c3 5% uh, c4 and ac4 2.5 2.5 since the remaining 10% might be non hydrocarbon we add that 10% to c2 and we say c1 50% c2 40% c3 5% c4 and c uh, nc4 and ac4 being 2.5 making 100% composition of natural gas and we try to you know relate it uh, we try to reform it with the help of steam which is three times the carbon contained by natural gas so how do we calculate the carbon content of the natural gas is by multiplying the mole fractions of c1 c2 with the respective carbon and the total amount of the natural gas flow rate so let's say uh, the equation would be in terms of uh, you know mole fraction would be 0.5 corresponding to c1 2 times 0.4 3 times 0.05 4 times 0.025 4, 4 times 0.025 this will give you the carbon atoms multiply that with 3 will give you the uh, you know flow rate of uh, steam or the uh, you know uh, water which is required to reform the uh, natural gas how do we put this in chem So let us try and see how to do this in CAMCAD using the data map or spreadsheet tool. For that, I have already created the flow sheet where I have got natural gas. Right? I have considered 100 uh, mole per hour or of the natural gas at some temperature and pressure with the given composition. As I, I was telling, I have considered here 0.4 and remaining. Uh, as it is this is the water content right and what we need is we need to define the flow rate of water corresponding to the carbon numbers for that we need to use this data map option but before that i have to create an excel file which i you know would like to have information exchange with i have already created the excel file right where i have written c1 c2 c3 c4 and uh, nc4 so this cells are the cells where i'll be obtaining the information from chemcad about the molar rate of c1 c2 c3 c4 and uh, naturally ic4 and nc4 then i'll calculate the total carbon numbers total carbon numbers would be the carbon here plus 2 times carbon here plus Three times carbon here plus four times carbon here plus four times carbon here. So this will give me the flow rate of carbon in natural gas. And what I want is I want my flow rate, steam flow rate, to be three times that of this. So I may say required flow rate of of steam. now this values would come from chemcad now this values would come from chemcad this will be calculated here in excel this will be calculated in excel and this should go back to chemcad that is what our planning is and how do we do that is we go to data maps we click on data map we right we put your new data map so the first thing we have to do once i go to new data map is 
to you know convey chemcat a the excel file location so i can go to browse and i can go to the required So I have given the you know path Excel path and the worksheet which is sheet one. Right now I have to add the rules. So what are the rules? This I want the information to go to worksheet. So I'll write to worksheet object type stream object ID one because that comes from here and then I go to ID here component molar rate which component I want methane and worksheet cell I want where I want that is here which is F4 and write F4 weight is something which we can comment right now it has to do with data reconciliation and comment section is something wherein if you want to mention any comment related to this particular you know linkage you can write it we will keep it blank here however that comment section will not impact any way the calculation one by one i can do it for all the compound Next is NC4 and then the left would be IC4. Right, and then I want the total flow rate to come to this total flow rate of natural gas, and that should be stream number. Sorry, uh, steam that should come to stream number two. So now I'll write here stream object two component. Here I can write total molar rate. No component and uh, the corresponding answer would be F12 so I will write F12 so this is the linkage which we have created right between the worksheet and the template so this is the requirement of data map it only maps the data between worksheet and template I just close it and save it and I will go back to this and I'll go to execution rules. So this by this I have created the rules. Now I want MCAT to execute those rules. So for execution of the tool, I have to click here, right? And uh, I have to select the data map. Data map two is was the name. So I'll select data map two. Now on the right hand side, as you can see, there are two things: before simulation, after simulation. So data map two before simulation, I want to you know uh, send the information to workbook and before simulation only I want information to come to chemcat so I have written both the you know rules here right say for example anything which I am calculating 
and I would like to send it to uh, you know worksheet back. I can do that as well. I think if time permits, I'll show you the same in this video. So right now, data map two, uh, the calculation before the simulation, all the values of C1, C2, C3, C4 should go to workbook, and whatever calculation has been done by the spreadsheet should come back to CamCAD. So I have given two different options. Press OK. And as you can see that our this spreadsheet is empty right now and once I come back to this and you know run this yeah so it was a warning and you can see the data map 2 is executed successfully we can show here that these were the values of C1, C2, C3, C4, total carbon and this is the required for it of the C steam which should be the value here. Right? Okay. So, this is something which we can do very easily by, you know, linking uh, Excel and ChemCAD. If I go back to data map 2, right, and I say that, okay, to worksheet only stream id3 that is this and i say that the temperature or maybe floor it no component here and i come here and right here make sure temp That is F15. So I write here F15. Right? And I close this. Save it. And I go to execution rules. I write here data map 2. Just wait. Here I write after simulation to workbook. That is whatever is then I press ok and I start from all this is related to the uh, thermodynamic package and I can go back here and I can see that the mixture temperature is here in the worksheet which is equal to this temperature so we can we can we can communicate between Excel and CAMCAD using data maps. The steps are first create your flow sheet, generate the Excel, then using data map access the path of the Excel, give the worksheet whichever is to be done, right? That is here, right? Then create the rules, close this up. Once you are done, done with that, go to execution rules. Uh, initially you might find some issues with this but basically this is something which will tell you whether you want to do what what you want to do before and after simulation so uh, you want to do the you know before and after simulation whether you want to send the information to workbook or chrome workbook to chemcad or after simulation so uh, you you can do some trial and error and once this is done you just have to click you know run all and it will be you know uh, simulated so you can even uh, you know uh, you know selectively run few of the data maps and i think that will come by time right now i just wanted to convey how to link the excel and chemcad so that you can do certain you know communication you can do some kind of uh, you know calculation outside chemcad and you can feed it to the chemcad or some kind of variables you can uh, you know send to excel sheet from chemcad the, the kind of problem which requires this is what you need to identify. So, if you can identify properly, you can utilize this function, this tool very nicely. Thank you.